Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel. So today we have another good looking puzzle, a nice one that has a, a nice visual approach to the puzzle that not only is it creating a, a rule set that works for the puzzle, but it also looks good, which is I always enjoy. So this one is called Insignia by Katie Splendor. Now I think I've seen a puzzle or two by Katie Splendor before. They go by a different moniker on uh, their postings, but honestly, I, I've forgotten what it is at this moment. I apologize. Uh, but I haven't gotten to a, any other puzzles before, I don't think. Um, this one has a little bit of a backstory as well, if I understand correctly, was created as a birthday homage to another setter as well. So that's a little bit of information there. Uh, that said, I don't have a big intro other than all of that. Let's just take a look at this thing, see what's going on, and see if we can have some fun today. So what do we got? Normal Sudoku supply. Every row, every column, every 3x3 three three box. Contain the digits 1 through 9 once each. Then we've got XV sums, so digits separated by an X sum to 10, digits separated by a V sum to 5, no negative constraint. So the Vs, and it actually just is this one. These two add up to 5. All of the 10s, whatever they may be, add up to 10. So all the Xs, 10s. Then we've got Kropke dots. So did it separate by a white crop dot have a difference in value of one? Did it separate by a black crop dot have a value ratio of two to one? And again, no negative constraint. So white crop keys, there's a couple of them. These are consecutive or they have a difference of one. The black ones, they are in a ratio of two to one, i.e. one is double the other. No negative constraints. And then we have two more things here. We have the Ren band. So this is the only Ren band. Everything else is a German Whisper color. So digits along a purple Ren band line contain a set of consecutive digits, though neighbors on the line are not required to be consecutive to each other. Okay, that's just a more uh, broken down version of saying they are a set of non-repeating consecutive digits on this Ren band. And then of course, the last one here is German Whispers. So digits on a green German Whisper line, Differ in value from the neighbor on the line by at least five. So take your pick, this guy here, whatever it is, this has to be five away from it, this has to be five away from that one, and so on and so forth, all across these lines. And that's it. So that said, let's uh let's just jump into this one. Don't need to take too much time going over this stuff. Uh this is all fairly normal Sudoku variants. So uh links in the description below. Let's get started on this one. Just enjoy ourselves. So where are we going to start? Well, first thing I see is fives. So we could do some work with our fives. So let's just do that. None of these can be five because you can't put a five on a German Whisper and you can't put a five on an X clue. So we get a five. Uh, coincidentally, we know there's a five on this Ren band. We'll get to that in a minute. Uh, none of these can be five. So this is five. One of these is five. What else? Okay, five's here. This is five. One of these must be five. One of these is five. We're just going to sort this one out. So we get rid of those. None of these can be five. So one of these is. And one of these is. So that's going to give us a lot more. This one's five. This one's five. And then the rest is... Uh, in here, which is fine, the way it is. So we know there's a five on this friend band. The thing is, we know that this central digit is one of the extremes. It's either one or nine, because there's no other way to make eight digits on a Ren band line with one of the middle digits being missing. So this is either one or nine. Well, it can't be nine, because it's on a black crop key dot. So this is one. Therefore, this is two, this is four, this is 2 or 8, which means this is just a straight up 2, 8, 10 clue. Good. So what does that tell us? What can this one be, maybe? It can't be 9, 1, it can't be 2, 8, it can't be 6, 4, so it is 3, 7. This guy. It can't be from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 7, or 8. So it's either 6 or 9. If it's 6, it's four. If it's nine, this is one. And if this is one, this is 
two. If it's four, it's two or eight. So we can we can simplify this one a lot quicker. I think yes, we cannot put a four or a six on any of these uh, German whisper spaces because if we put a four here, we have to have nines in all of these. We've already said that can't happen. We have to have a six. We have to put a one on all of these. Those can't happen either. Same goes for all of these. So this has to be four and six. So therefore, this is four. This is six. That doesn't change this guy. Uh, but it does mean what? These are five and nine as remainders for this row. Oh, we actually know, just saw that now too, because there's no one, this is... Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Just something to think about. Uh, what are these guys then? Because we have to be able to put ones, threes, sevens, and nines. That doesn't do very much for us, does it? Oh, let's use the same concept. These can't be fours or sixes. So this is a four, six pair because this can't be four or six. Therefore, this is not five, this is, and this is nine. There we go. It's the easier way of going about that. This four actually just says six and four as well. This has to be two or eight, so this is two or eight. Now, we haven't quite gotten ourselves onto our German whisper where we can say What's the high or the low groupings? Because we know once we get one of them, we know the pattern for everything else. So can we... I think, yeah, well, I think we can go a little further. Where does a four go in this region? Well, because of that, it can't go any of these two. It can't go here because we can't have two nines next to it. It can't go either one of these because we can't put a nine next to it. So there has to be a four in one of these two. Do we get something similar? Yeah, but not quite as useful, I guess. Let's go back up here then, since we have this five clue on a white crop key. And just hadn't gotten to it yet, but this has to be four or six, and it can't be four, so this is six, this is four. Now, that doesn't quite determine what this 10 clue is. We know it can't be six, four, we know it can't be two, eight, but it could still be one, nine, or three, seven. Okay. Is there anywhere else fours and sixes are going to help us? Because those tend to be very useful on German whispers. We can't rule out... Okay, so we have to... Okay, we can rule in a six. That's not normally how we uh, start looking at these. We cannot have six and eight. So one of these is a six. This can't be a six. What else can we rule out? I think any of these, no, these two can't be sixes because they have, they would have ones all over here. So one of these two is a six, which means one of these is a one. In fact, one of these is a one as well. No, one of these, sorry, is a one as well. But that's not quite going to get us there. Okay, it's close. We're, we're almost there on setting this thing. So let's, we have to have a six down here somewhere. Not great. One of these is a five. Where's our break in to this German whisper? Twos, one of these is a two. Is there anything else that gives us something. Because I don't think we can rule out either one of these as being a two. 
Because if this is a 2, this is clearly the 7, and this could be 7 or 8. If this is the 2, this is a 7, 8 pair. And with the 7, we'd have to put a 1 in one of these. So I guess no matter where the 2 is, one of these is going to be a 1. I think that's a fair assessment. Right? Because if this is a 2, the two wherever the 2 goes, it goes with the 7, and it forces the 1. That's correct. So these are not 1s. Okay, we can do a little bit more up here, I think thinking about this situation. This can no longer be a six anymore because that can't be a one. So this is the six. Therefore, these are the ones. Let's get rid of all this stuff. This is a one, this is seven, this is three, this is two. And now we are moving. So we know our patterning for our journal whisper now. We've got lows and highs. So all of these, and I'll come back to that in a second. These are all the low digits. Let's just color those in. So this is two, this is eight. This is two, this is eight. This is three, this is one. That's not three. This is not one or three. So we get a seven, nine grouping there. If this is a seven, this has to be a one. If it's a nine, it could be a one or a three. The same goes down here. So if it's a seven, this is a one, because it can't be a two. If it's a nine, it's a one or a three, because it can't be a four. So we get whatever this value is, which is eight. Good. Now we know one of these is an 8 because of these, and we know the grouping of our journal whisper, so therefore this is the 8. These have to be from 1, 2, and 3. This is not 1. All right. Now, let's think about these guys. These are 8 and 9. This has to be 1 or 4 four, because it can't be two or three. And we can't necessarily rule out this being a four, because these could both be nines. This one would go with a nine, the three would go with a seven. What other values do we have? What about you? This 10 clue cannot be a one, nine, it cannot be an eight, two, and it cannot be a three, seven. It is a four, six. So therefore, this is a one. That force is three and seven. This four is still not resolved. Okay. What's our, this is a one, therefore this is nine, this is seven because of all this work we've just done. And let's think further. This guy, two, three, or four, can't be four. Good. This is a high digit, it's not six, seven, or eight, it is nine. This is not six or nine, it's seven or eight and not eight, so seven. Therefore, with a seven, we know we can't put it next to a three. We can remove two here. And this eight now has to go with a nine. What have we got left now? Can't be seven, can't be nine. It's either 6 or 8, and it could still be that 6. Down here, can't be 7, can't be 6, can't be 8. This is 9. Good. What about the rest of them? Not 7, 8, or 9, so this is 6. That forces our 1. And does that push a 1 down here? It does it pushes a one up here and that should be all of our ones we can probably start going through the sudoku side too but let's stick to this these have to be from six and seven because eight and nine are used there's a six here seven six that six works with the ones and the seven twos again that can't be a three 
What else do we have left on our German whispers? This nine has finalized the eights and the nines. And there's only a couple left on here. We have a three here, so this has to at least be eight. This is an eight or a nine. Just wanna, okay, we have a two eight left in this region. There's a two here, so this is eight and two. That eight gives us a six. And therefore, this is a four and a six by this six. So I think we've got almost everything we need here. We just gotta kinda finalize this in the Sudoku realm. These are, I'm gonna get rid of this blue here. It's kind of distracting me. Uh, let's think about these guys. We need a three and a seven. We have those. This guy is now given as a three. These two must be seven and something. This is the seven and nine was the other spot. These two are four and two. This is four, this is two by Sudoku. This is a given. It is three. These two are what? Four and six. Get rid of all this stuff. And what's left over? This has to be five and seven. We have a seven here, so we get five. We get seven. These are three and eight. Those are not resolved just yet. That's fine. Uh, these two down here, though, we have to have four and five. We can do that one. Five and four. These are from three, eight, or nine. This is from three or eight. Okay. Let's look here. These will probably be able to break all this stuff open now. So we need a four, so yes, we can put it here. We also need an eight, so we can put it here. Therefore, we get three, nine, eight, and we can just finalize these other ones. So this is turning out to be quite the quick one, which is fine. We don't have ton that are, end up quickly often, so we're good there. This is nine, this is three, this is what, seven, and then this one has to be a two. And these have to be finalized, so eight, and three. And there we go. Happy birthday, Aspartagus. Okay, so that was the person who had the birthday. I hope this puzzle was a true piece of cake. Lovely. So, uh, quick solve. Wonderful. Really enjoyed that one. Everything flowed beautifully. Once you got moving on this kind of set of uh, rules here, everything kind of just swirled around through the insignia. So, I uh, hope you all enjoyed that one. That was a lot of fun. I'm glad people are making. Uh, Sudoku's for everybody else for special occasions. That's really awesome. But uh, hope you all enjoyed this one. We'll see you in the next one. Thanks a lot.